I have an old Troy built Bronco lawnmower and for the most part it does pretty good but these tires back here are the original ones and I guess they're made specifically for grass and they, uh, they kind of suck when you're going up a hill or through any kind of wet grass. So I got an idea. Looking at my tractor here, these are some aggressive tires but this tractor rarely ever gets stuck and almost never spins. So I jumped on Amazon and look what I found. These are basically tractor tires for a standard lawnmower. Now these original tires are a 20 by 8 on an 8 inch wheel and these new ones are 20 by 10 on an 8 inch wheel. So these are supposed to be about 2 inches wider. Well, let's check. As for height, if you look at there, it is almost identical in height. And looking at width, yep, these new ones are definitely about an inch wider on each side. And that should be awesome. And just in case you were wondering on clearance, there is plenty of clearance in there there to get an inch wider tire. And to change these out, I've chalked up the front wheels. We're gonna have to jack up the back. On these wheels, it looks like we have a half inch bolt, so we're gonna have to get these off. I've also stuck some wood under the axle just in case it wants to fall. Now since I have both wheels off the ground, they're wanting to turn in opposite ways, making this a little more difficult. So I'm gonna have to chalk that tire. Now that I got the bolt off, I see why it's so tough. There's like a Loctite or something holding it on. If we look in here at the wheel, it has a flat spot on each side. That's what can, keeps it in contact with the axle and it doesn't just free spin. Now I've been told that these wheels can sometimes be a challenge to take off. So let's just give it a kick and see what happens. You might be able to see these are easily coming off with a little bit of shaking. If for some reason yours does not come off easily, you may have to get a puller to actually pull the whole wheel off. And now with this side off, we have to take the tire off of the wheel and install this one on it. Sometimes that can be a challenge. You can always take it to somebody to do it for you. And just to let you know if you plan on doing this yourself, these can be a bit of a challenge to get off. And the same can be true for getting the new one on. That's when a little silicone spray can do wonders. Just put it around the bead and it should help go in easier. Once you get the wheel on, we want to add some air to it so that it'll seat the bead all the way around the edge of the wheel here. Sometimes I've found out that if you push down on the top, kind of bounce it up and down a little bit as you're adding there, it'll seat a little bit easier. Now we just have to reinstall it back on the axle and then we can start on the other side. Ooh buddy, those tires are looking awesome. I guess once there's a little bit of air in those tires, they do sit a little bit higher because it might be hard to see, but the left side is sitting a little bit higher than the right. Oh yeah. Let's check this thing out. Ooh, that looks mean. <laughs> this is gonna be awesome. Let's go test this out. Maybe a little hard to see here, but this is a pretty steep hill in my backyard. And if I was to try and climb it with my lawnmower, it would have a tendency to spin the tires. So let's test this out. Oh, and uh, sorry about the sun and the shade. This is real life, so this is how it is. I first started by going up the hill at a slower pace and didn't feel any tendency or slippage at all. As you can see here, I came to a full stop real quick going downhill and the lawnmower didn't slide. It would have a tendency to slide doing this. So then I decided to try and stop uphill and then punch it really fast, which would normally just spin the tires like crazy. And as you see here, it took off really fast. Now that was a great test. Definitely a success going up that hill with these new tires. The only thing I can feel difference wise as as it's driving each of these little ribs it feels almost like a small little mini bump when you're going really fast you don't feel it but when you're going slow you do other than that these tires are awesome gripped really well and i didn't have any issue or any kind of slippage at all here's one last look about clearance underneath 
On the left side, plenty of room. On the right side, it's a little closer to those handles if you can see up near the top there, but otherwise, plenty of room. On the right side, it is a little bit closer to the deck right there, but still has about an inch of space. If by chance you are interested in these tires or something similar, I'll put a link to these in the description. With those back tires so nice, I guess one of these days I'm gonna have to upgrade the fronts.